Oh hey lads, it's Danny here today, I bring you lot a lovely video. So today we're going to take a look at how to prove this property. Square root of A times square root of B is equal to square root of A times B. So this is a pretty prop popular property to know in mathematics. I'll show you lot how to prove it, but before we jump into it, I want you lot to leave a like and subscribe and let's get right into it. So the first step that you lot are going to need to do is to find what square root of A is equal to and what square root of B is. So the way we do it is we're going to say that square root of a is equal to x. And that basically implies, once you square both sides of the equation, as x squared as being equal to a. And likewise, we do the same for square root of b. We're going to say that's a equal to y. And as a result, y squared will be equal to b. We, this is very important, as you are going to see in a moment when we write our preliminary equation. So square root of a times square root of b is equal well, we have square root of a times b. Well, a times b, if we're sta saying that this is equal, shouldn't it be x times y on the right-hand side? So that's basically it. That's what we're trying to prove. So therefore, we're going to substitute x times y on the right-hand side. We are then going to basically square both sides of this equation, the left-hand side and right-hand side respectively, and on the right hand side, you lot are going to notice straight away, you do not have to use FOIL, you have a product. So you're squaring a product, therefore you just need to distribute the square to the x and to the y variable. On the left hand side, we are not going to touch it for now, we're just going to be working on the right hand side. So the same thing on the left hand side, right hand side is going to be x squared times y squared. So once you have reached this point, what you lot are going to need to do is you're going to go back to what your definitions are right up here and you're going to substitute the square root of a is equal to x and the square root of b is equal to y inside this product right here this inside this bracket i should say and you are going to have x times y bracket close squared equal to x squared times y squared the next step which you are going to need to do is notice on the right hand side especially we have x squared times y squared. Well, we know what that's equal to. We, we defined it as x squared is equal to a and y squared is equal to b. So we're going to substitute this in to the right hand side of the equation ultimately leaving us with this. The next step from there is to take a square root on both sides of this equation as you lot are going to see straight away. The square will cancel out with the square root, ultimately leading you with x times y is equal to square root of a times b. Now, what's x times y equal to? We go back to our preliminary equation we wrote. x times y is equal to square root of a times square root of b. And therefore, square root of a times square root of b is equal to square root a times b. And that's how you prove this property. If you lot enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you lot later.